morning. Uh, today for our tip, what I want to do is just go over a few little things on how to easily make some stickers. What's really important here is in order to make a sticker such as the one there, all you need to do is upload any image and we can make a sticker quite simply. So what I want to do is just go into our design space and I'm just going to pull up any image I can find here. I know a lot of you only have the free images, so I'm just going to click on free here. There's not a lot here, but I am going to pick on this one. And it's called an Air 2 OOB card film element. I'm just going to add that to the canvas. Now if we take a look at this element, as you'll notice, if you come down here to the bottom of the layers panel, you can contour it. So what I want to do first of all is take a copy. I'm going to hold down the Alt key. I'm just going to drag a copy away so that I can get back to the original. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to come down to Contour and I'm going to hide all contours. And then I will click away and now I have a nice blank one that doesn't have any holes in it. So if you have another image, I'll do another image in a minute and just so you don't have a lot of holes in the image. What I want to do now is click on our offset. Now it's a pretty big offset. I don't like it quite that big. So I'm going to type in 0 0.125. Give it a very narrow offset here. I'm going to apply it and then I'm going to change it to white. Now I have an outline around it. Now on the inside, because we wanted to have the holes, all I need to do here is click on the inside, come back to Contour, and then Show All Contours. If I come back here, now I have this nice image with the white background. Now if I wanted this to be a sticker, it is going to be a print then cut. So I need to highlight it, and then what I need to do is flatten it. I'm just going to click on Flatten at the bottom of the Layers panel here. And now I have a sticker. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty big at this point, and I know it's hard to see the white. So I have a little trick for you if you can't see the white in the background. See where it says Black Canvas? Blank Canvas right here at the bottom. It says Blank. Up at the top, you're going to see the word Color. I'm just going to click on Color. We'll pick a nice light color, say a light yellow in the background. Now you'll be able to see your sticker. Now that's how you change the color of the background. Now for the sticker itself, you probably want multiple stickers that you can print on a sheet of paper. So what you do is just duplicate, size this the way you want it. Sometimes you can unlock these. There we go, we can unlock it. And if we want to have it a very narrow one. There we go. We have one sticker. It's two inches wide, so that's pretty wide for writing on. If you find that's too large, then um, you'll have to make adjustment. Now what I generally like to do is come up here and I go about 200 percent. That gives me an idea of what two inches would look like on the screen and that makes a big difference. So that's 200%. So I find that the sticker is a little bit big for me. I can just adjust it here if I want a one inch sticker and I get a general idea of how big this is going to be. All right, that is one sticker and then you just print then cut using your sticker paper. I'm going to do one more here. I'm going to go to my uploads. I have quite a few things here and um, if you go into my resource library, you can probably find a lot of these. I'm just going to pick on a gnome here that I have uploaded. And this one came from, um, I do believe, uh, let's see, where did I get this one? Probably Creative Fabrica, where I picked up that gnome. So you could probably take a look there. Let me go back to uploads here. View all. I want this guy. I'm going right to the center here. I'm going to add him to the canvas. Now it's going to come down here to view the canvas. That's so I can get back to it right away. 
So this gives you a general idea how big this gnome is going to be because I am at 200%. So let me just bring him down if I only want. So let me bring him down in size. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's just bring him down in size here. I want him up just over an inch. That looks really good here. So he's just over an inch. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to flatten this one, but I am going to look and see if I can contour, and I can't because this is a PNG file. So all I need to do here is come up to my offset, and it's got 0.25. You can see how large that is. So I'm going to go 0 0.125. I'm going to apply it. That's a lot narrower. I could even make it smaller if I want, but for this demonstration, I'm just apply it for now, and I'm going to change that black up here to white, and then I can take this and I can flatten it. And once I flatten it, usually most of the other cuts will go away. But the reason I use the offset in the back, if there are any extra cuts on the inside, they will disappear. So there's a couple of ways that you can get to making stickers quite easily and then a matter of set, um, just figuring out how many you want to have across and how many down. Remember there's a restriction when you print and we usually go by 6.75 although they have increased it a little bit lately and seven and 9.25 down but you can go to 9.5 now so there is a different way that you can do this and you can pick your different papers. So that is it for doing our stickers.